welcome back to this side of 40 this is your girl Lou and again we're carpooling I haven't carpooled in a couple days or almost a week now um, basically um, reason being is because every time I try to somebody called me um, my sisters watch my videos one of my nephews broke his leg while skateboarding and he had surgery yesterday so that was yesterday's reason. Um, day before, I was off, and I don't carpool when I'm not working, just because um, usually when I'm not when I'm working, I'm by myself, and when I'm not working, um, it's me and Ricky in the car, and Ricky doesn't want to be part of my video, so it is what it is. So uh, this is my Zodiac Project Pan eyeshadow look for today. Um, and uh, basically, I try to gel my hair down. I don't have a hair texture that you could just lay down. Like, I put so much gel on here, and girl, it's just frizzy. But I'm just gonna have to wear it because it is what it is. Um, these are some earrings I got from a natural um, hair show um, that I participated in, which was great. Really, really great. Um, then, um, these are some of the lashes I got for my birthday. And this lip look, I was just trying something different. Um, I probably am going to take it off once I get to work. It's the same lip gloss I've been wearing, that whoosh, um, from my, um, lip service project pan. However, I, um, put a lip liner on with it. And I just don't know if I'm really digging it, but it'll be whatever today. Um, so, they had the debates last night, and with us having debates, some things came up, and I wanted to kind of talk to it about it. I don't know why Julian Castro tried to go after Joe Biden. That was not cute, and it just shows to where he didn't really have nothing to talk about. Um, I'm not saying that he wouldn't, uh, he's not a good candidate, but I'm just saying, like, bruh. Find a topic, get on it, and stay on it. Don't try to attack somebody who didn't even say anything because you didn't even hear the whole conversation like he was just attacking. Elizabeth Warren with this 2% um, tax on the 50 millionth and $1. I, I agree with her on that because like um, those people who have that much money after a certain amount, it's not the kind of money you would spend in a lifetime unless you were like doing some stupid stuff um those are the kind of people who can invest in things that keep them having residual income so it wouldn't be a problem for them to leave their money behind to family members that's the inherited wealth you know you just give it and not a bad thing but at the same time let's help out the rest of the United States. Now, I don't feel like I should have to give up my medical that I have currently. I'm not saying that people should have to give up their medical that they currently have if they're happy with it. Um, if people are unaware, in other countries, they do have a, like a national free medical, but you can pay excess money and um, get like a secondary so that way you're not in that situation where um, you have to wait for doctor's appointments. So you would have the state, the governmental insurance, and then you could pay for a secondary, and that secondary will like bump you up to the top. Now I understand some people say, "Oh, well, that's not fair." However, not everybody's going to want to invest into that secondary, so that would just be that. But that would bring down the cost on the secondary because then you would basically have to. Um, you would have to take a lower cost if it's if it was a nationally ran um, medical. Then you would have to take on that second cost. Um, so that was the other thing. Then uh, I heard Bernie Sanders, and I, I think Bernie Sanders. Everybody keeps saying he's too old, but you know what? with age comes wisdom and he's not getting dumber you know what I mean like some people get older and they just a fool like they just really ain't got nothing to talk about he has been saying the same message
age since about the late 70s, early 80s. So I feel like he's been looking into it long enough. It's like somebody who studied for a test. If you if you study something long enough, then you know for a fact what you're talking about. That's my personal opinion. Um, then I was listening to Cory Booker. Cory sounded good. Beto, I feel like if him and somebody else got on a, a ticket together, I would like a ticket with Beto and Elizabeth or a ticket with Biden and Elizabeth. Um, I understand that Beto is just like talking from a point of basically like watching his neighbors die and he's just trying to figure out a way to make it better. Um, I feel bad for him because he's in a very hard spot. And I feel like um, the idea of buying back guns of mass destruction, um, it sounds good, but at the same time, it's just not going to happen. Like, people are not going to willingly give up their guns because there's too many private sellers. You wouldn't know who all had those guns in the first place. Um, that's one. Then, two, um, I feel like when there was the gang, a lot of gang violence, and I want to say that was like the 80s, the late 80s, early 90s, um, and that was like the whole 80s, basically, because I lived in California at that time, um, people were having these guns and killing each other and drive by shootings and all that. Now that part of, they still have them, but they're not as bad as they used to be. People are becoming a little bit more wise about what they're doing. At the same time, I feel like we need to come to a point in the United States where we can sit down and have discussions. I don't feel like we have discussions enough, and I don't feel like taking people's guns is going to fix that. Like, people have been having mental health issues for a very long time. Um, people who embolden people to say little racial things or do little racial things are not helping the situation so that was the other thing then they were trying to uh, have somebody go on to be a, a higher court like it's right under the Supreme Court there's a guy who's trying to get the seat that Thurgood Marshall used to hold and he wrote a paper basically saying that it would be bad for a country to have a lot of diversity. That's basically the breakdown in that um, women or um, gay people or anybody that was not in um, issues as a, as a white male would be bad for the country. Um, and so I felt like, I hope, because even, and I'll say this, good thing for the Republicans. Even they were like looking at him like, boy, go somewhere and sit down. I don't even know how you got elected to try to apply for this job, but you could just, you should just bow out. Like, literally. Just bow out. Because I was looking at um, McConnell. McConnell was like, bruh, did you not just hear this boy ask you a question? Answer the question because he had to tell him, are you going to answer the question or not? Like, he got tired of him, like, dancing around questions and not answering them. So, I feel like that's that precedent they had started with that first Supreme Court judge um, that they know he did something to that girl, but he just basically got away with it. I feel like they shouldn't have allowed him to get a Supreme Court seat because this is what it, it makes space for. However, you never know how it's going to turn out or whatever. Then um, I started my low carb diet. Um, I meal prepped on Wednesday. I have um, cabbage rolls with myself today. Um, instead of using rice, I use the cauliflower rice, and um, I put some cheese in it. I made my own tomato um, sauce to put on top of them. Um, yesterday I took that in chicken. I really, really like that, so I bring four of them today. I might be at work from 9 until 8 today, which is, ooh, girl. However, it just is what it is. Um, so I bring four of them with me. 
my only issue is I know I'm addicted to carbs. Like, this was the whole entire point of why I was going on this diet, just to see if I could live without carbs. I'm truly addicted to carbs. I'm realizing that. Um, so, my goal is to, like, cut down the carbs because I ate right all day yesterday. And then when I got home at night, I had a headache. I couldn't go to sleep because I had a headache because I was still hungry. And I know it's because my body was, like, needing sugar. Um, it was needing sugar and salt because I had put no salt in the food. And I didn't add any sugar to anything. So, everything came out of, like, it was either meat or a seasoning. It wasn't no sugar added. So, I know that I'm going to have to kind of, like, work on that. This morning, I already had one cup of coffee. Um, I was reading this article, and they were saying that if you're having sugar cravings or whatever, um, to try having coffee and not using as much creamer, because I can't give up my creamer, and I'm not about to buy um, unflavored creamer, and I didn't get the sugar-free option because that's just as bad. It'll make your stomach bloat up. Um, so I decided just to um, put the amount of coffee that I would put in one cup and then add more hot water to it and drink that um, and mix it all together thoroughly. And it seems to be working. It's making me get a drink more fluids. Um, if you know me, I'm an eater, not a drinker. So, that's that. Then, um, I haven't got on the scale because the plan for me is to try to get myself on this eating plan. Really do good for like two weeks. So, like yesterday, I'm not saying it was a fail, but I didn't do as good as I wanted to because I ended up having bread. Um, so, today, my goal is going to be to, um, because I work next to a grocery store. I'm going to go to the grocery store close to my job and get some snacks that are good for me. And I'm going to clean up the refrigerator at my job today. Those are my goals. Um, so that's that. And um, I use that 30 second salon pro if you know what I'm talking about. Gel on my hair. And it works good for molding your hair down for um, like a quick weave or any of that so I figured it would work pretty good on my hair for me to gel it down however um, I just have a different grade of hair and it is very thick and my curls seem to have a mind of their own so I feel bad for both of my sisters because both of them have kids with hair like mine so and they have a lot of hair a lot a lot of hair so that'd be that if you have any questions or comments, please put them in the line below. Um, I am so happy to be carpooling with you guys once again. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time on this side of 40. As soon as I park, y'all. Yeah.